Hey, good morning, y'all. Josh, a severe weather. Happy Wednesday to you. Lots to talk about with our massive storm. Lots of severe weather, lots of snow falling at a quick rate. And I'm going to go ahead and share with my screen everything that we are to expect from today on to tomorrow with this major storm. Uh, we are still seeing severe weather in progress across the Florida Panhandle, and that is going to spread east and northeastward here this afternoon and especially tonight with severe weather possible all the way into southeastern Virginia uh, with the threat for a couple of isolated tornadoes, but most likely a squall line bringing widespread severe straight line winds. So that is going to be what I'm going to focus part of this video on. And I'm going to start the video off talking about the wintry side of this storm, which is still in progress here across uh, the central part of the country and spreading across the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and will be spreading eastward into the northeast as we get through the morning today and into this afternoon with heavy snow falling across parts of New England, even some heavy snow uh, at the onset of this storm system over north central Pennsylvania and the uh, line with New York State as well. Uh, but we will too see that changing over to rain. And then I'm gonna talk about what's gonna follow the storm, colder air, strong winds, and some snow all the way down into parts of Tennessee and northeast Alabama. Uh, as uh, colder air floods in behind our storm system. So if you're traveling today to Chicago and Detroit, expect some delays with snow falling. St. Louis will still have some travel delays. And then into the Northeast, we'll likely see some travel delays as well uh, in the big cities and especially uh, areas farther northward where snow is going to be falling heavily. Here is a look at the current radar from perryweather.com. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what's going on here. And uh, we do have um, our low pressure system now tracking into western Kentucky, bringing a change over to some rain in places like Louisville, Lexington, and Paducah, uh, but heavy snow uh, wrapping up into the St. Louis area and hitting central parts of Illinois and southern Illinois pretty hard right now with rates over an inch per hour in some spots. Indianapolis also getting a band of very heavy snow this morning around 5, 6 o'clock central time. That band will slowly shift northeastward towards Muncie and then spreading northeastward into west central parts of Ohio, Springfield, Finley, and uh, Mansfield. We also have rain and embedded strong storms with severe weather over parts of the central panhandle of Florida. Now, this is starting to become a more localized um, severe weather um, outbreak, which is compared to yesterday when we had a widespread severe weather outbreak over Texas, Louisiana, and last night over Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, but we are going to see rain spreading eastward here into the Carolinas. It's raining hard this morning in eastern Tennessee and Kentucky, as well as parts of West Virginia. Uh, snow now spreading into parts of north central Pennsylvania and southwestern New York. This will expand east and northeastward, and it could snow a little bit this morning around New York and Philly, but most of that would accumulate off to your north and west, so the snow drought may continue. We also have some snow, which will change over to some freezing rain here over the Shenandoah Valley and interior parts of West Virginia and Western Maryland before it changed to rain. Uh, a lot of wind expected with this storm as well. Uh, but primarily, our uh, thunderstorms are scattered about central Georgia and uh, more severe weather now tracking through the Panama City Beach area up to about Mariana, Florida and approaching uh, Blakely, Georgia as well. Definitely an intense squall line with very strong winds aloft producing the threat for isolated tornadoes uh, around uh, the, uh, the beaches here around Panama City. And then that will spread eastward toward Tallahassee and weaken later this morning. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, storm reports that we've seen so far from this storm. And uh, this is from NWS chat. And you guys can see where the severe weather occurred uh, yesterday with multiple tornado reports and even some strong tornadoes in the greater Houston area. It looks like Deer Park and Pasadena were hit by a strong tornado yesterday afternoon and uh, also tornado reports late yesterday over southwestern Louisiana and places that, believe it or not, are still cleaning up from Hurricane Laura. We still have uh, damaged homes that have yet to be fully rebuilt and restored here in southwestern Louisiana. So definitely a rough day yesterday. Uh, we had lots of severe weather reports and uh, of straight line wind damage in south Louisiana and uh, also in the Mobile area where we had tornado warnings last night. Now uh, we're seeing reports of confirmed tornadoes just to the west of Panama City in Florida. So uh, mainly a, a regional outbreak confined to the Gulf Coastal region, not much north of I-10, uh, but you can see these yellow polygons are where severe thunderstorm warnings were in effect. And the green ones are flash flood warnings where those were in effect and the red ones were where tornado warnings were in effect. And you can see there were 
multiple tornado warnings and multiple tornado reports and a rare tornado emergency in the greater Houston area yesterday, af yesterday afternoon. Um, we also saw, saw some snow falling all the way to the northern parts of the Metroplex. Heavier amounts here across the Panhandle. Reports of eight, nine inches of snow fell around six to eight inches near and east of Oklahoma City. And on the Ozark Plateau, we will see some double digit numbers here before all is said and done. Uh, this snow is spreading northeastward and we're starting to see reports of accumulation all the way over to Columbus. And as we get later into the morning, we'll see that expanding northeastward. Uh, right now, we do have severe thunderstorm, or I'm sorry, a severe a tornado watch in effect here across the central panhandle of Florida with severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings embedded in that. A large area, though, still from Oklahoma to Maine <clears throat> of winter weather advisories, which are in uh, purple, and winter storm warnings, which are in pink. Those extend from the Ozark Plateau right on up through Indianapolis and into the Detroit area. We also have winter storm warnings in effect for northern New York, much of Vermont, New Hampshire, the higher elevations, as well as pretty much the entire state of Maine, except maybe the immediate seacoast, where we are going to see a switch over to some rain as we get later into tonight and tomorrow. And out west, uh, we do have fog advisories across uh, parts of uh, Oregon and northern California around Corvallis, Eugene. Uh, we do have um, the threat for some more winter weather affecting Montana with another storm dropping southeast from western Canada. The winter storm severity index is still moderate to even major around Indianapolis. This is where hazardous travel is expected to continue today. Uh, I-70 is going to be pretty messy as well as I-80. And uh, we do see impacts all the way to Toledo and Detroit, as well as Chicago, for some disruption to travel today. As we get into later today and tonight, we'll see moderate impacts across much of Maine with a few major impacts as well. This isn't necessarily snow totals, but it is more where population centers are impacted by large amounts of snow falling in a short amount of time frame. And that's what we're dealing here with this quick hitting snowstorm. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to show you the European in just a second. I'm going to show you tropical tidbits here real quick. And you can see it's initializing our low pressure system over Kentucky and spreading some milder air up here. A lot of tight isobars indicating strong winds as well here on the uh, west facing slopes here of uh, Tennessee and up into Virginia. We see snow this morning changing to a mixture of freezing rain and sleet. That's where the uh, pink colors are and then over to green, which is rain. Not much snow for New York City. This is quick, gonna quickly go over to rain here this afternoon. And we're looking at primarily a coastal low forming. The, the initial low comes up to Lake Erie, then it jumps to the East Coast. The cold air is still trapped across the interior of the Northeast, but it's already turning milder with this southerly flow here, bringing some downsloping from the Appalachians into Western New York. So uh, what starts as snow goes over to rain here and then back to snow behind the storm as colder air floods in behind it. So our low continues to shift a little farther north and west. That seems to be the trend this winter. And that means we're seeing primarily rain across the Canadian Maritimes with snow farther north across northern New Brunswick, northern New Brunswick, as well as eastern parts of Quebec, where it will be snowing hard tomorrow at this time. Uh, behind the storm, we see a lot of cold air returning. So while it does warm up on the east coast today, especially tonight, we'll see our high temperatures being reached towards midnight tonight. Temperatures then start to tumble tomorrow. And with that cold air pouring in off the lakes, colder heights here, we do see a switch back to some snow and snow flurries and light snow accumulations back across eastern and middle Tennessee. We could even see a few flakes down into northern Georgia before all is said and done. But most of the accumulation tomorrow is going to be in the mountains and across the Great Lakes belts. We do have another clipper dropping through central Canada into Minnesota where there will be some snow and some gusty winds in Chicago. So while it does warm up, it's still going to be a cold wind. And then our next storm moves into the pack northwest. We'll see rain and mountain snow in Washington State and northern Oregon. Heavy snow across the interior of the northwest and parts of Alberta and eastern British Columbia. That will spread onto the plains this weekend where we could have significant snow and much colder air moving in over parts of Wyoming, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa, and then into Chicago. This is definitely a colder air mass pouring in. But it's going to be met with resistance here as we warm right back up in the southeast this weekend. And again, our battleground looks to be the southern central plains right up through the Ohio Valley. So again, no signs of winter over the weekend here in the southeast. We will warm right back up and go to rain and thunderstorms on Sunday. And there could be a little bit of heavy rain and severe weather again. I don't think at the magnitude of what we just saw. Uh, but nonetheless, in Louisiana, southeast Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, you are not going to get a break except for just a few days, more severe weather coming. 
This looks to be a snow event primarily across the uh, Great Lakes and interior northeast. We do have more cold air coming down, though, so it's going to be colder behind this front. And at the end of the month of January, we see a very cold look with respect to where it's been here this month. It's been a very warm January, but we are going to end with a couple of cold days here across the plains, across the northeast and the Great Lakes. The southwest will see a storm moving in at the end of the month, early next week. California will see some lighter amounts of rain with heavier mountain snow, especially in southern Cal, as well as Arizona and southern Nevada. And it may even try to snow here around Vegas early next week before that storm moves out. However, we still have a ridge off of the Atlantic coast here, and that means we're not going to see anything but rain in the southeast early uh, towards the middle part of next week. Rain and heavy thunderstorms. And a battleground takes place here in Texas, where it'll be dramatically colder in North Texas and Oklahoma than it will be in Southeastern Texas. Again, despite a few model runs uh, over the weekend showing this cold getting much farther south, I don't think that's the case. We still have a cold rain over parts of the mid-Atlantic, but maybe uh, later next week, we might finally see a better chance for accumulating snow across the mid-Atlantic and the big cities of the Northeast where we've missed out so far. This model run, I'm not sure if I would take it too uh, too closely at this point. We're still about nine, ten days out, uh, but we could see maybe a little bit of winter weather getting farther south and east than what we have. So Tennessee, your hopes can certainly be a little bit higher with this. However, every time we've seen this from the GFS operational model, it's ended up trending back to the north and west. So um, you can look at this and use some caution, but know that it could still shift quite a bit as we're still a bit too far out to make any initial forecasts at this point. But um, the one thing is for sure, it's still warm in Florida and on the Southeast coast until this comes through and it's rain and then cold and drying out once again. So it'll be chilly to start February in the East and in the Southern United States. We'll have to watch the East coast to see if a storm can get cranking again here uh, the weekend after next. All right, so the European snow out of this storm, you guys can see here uh, our heavy snow lifts mainly up into Ontario, New England here and moves out of the picture here Thursday night and Friday with cold air following behind it. Next storm system brings heavy mountain snow here to the northwest. GFS is pretty much in line as well with the European at this point. Now our storm is in progress, um, and it does show um, some heavier amounts of snow here moving into the west on Friday into the weekend. Uh, the higher resolution NAM model shows a band of maybe some heavier snow this morning over northern Pennsylvania, um, and then that changes over to some rain. But the heaviest snow will be around Toronto. Uh, as well as central Indiana and then moving through Quebec and across western Maine and northern New Hampshire. We also have heavy rain to talk about still, very heavy rain expected across the Florida Peninsula this, or Florida Panhandle this morning, then it lowers as we get to the peninsula this afternoon. The western Carolinas, north Georgia, east Tennessee will also pick up some heavy rain, but the heaviest amounts of rain will actually come across the northeast. Um, uh, New Jersey, uh, New York City, Long Island could see two to four inches of rain out of this storm. Uh, a lot of that will be falling here tonight and early tomorrow morning. So a very wet night tonight on Long Island. Definitely something to be concerned with as there could be some local flooding here. As we look closer in, we can see the forecast radar and this storm is moving quickly. So weather is going to quickly change. Uh, but you can see very dark blues indicating very heavy snowfall this morning over far eastern Missouri, central and southern Illinois, central Indiana, now spreading uh, this afternoon around uh, central Pennsylvania, northern parts of Ohio and southeast Michigan. There'll also be some enhancement around the Chicagoland area that could locally give you a little bit more snow here around midday um, and even into the early afternoon. But you can see it's already going over to rain and there could even be a few rumbles of thunder here in Ohio once again. Um, but our heaviest storms are likely to be expanding from the eastern panhandle of Florida right on into the eastern Carolinas. This is at 3 o'clock this afternoon, and maybe a more organized line of storms here as we see some moisture transport northward around Myrtle Beach, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Greenville, uh, Rocky Mountain, Wilson here towards dark tonight, and then maybe some severe weather farther east across North Carolina this evening as we have strong winds aloft and an organized line of storms with embedded rotation possible. Uh, but tonight's going to be a real big mess here in the northeast. Very heavy rain impacting much of this region. Snow changing the rain in Maine uh, by morning tomorrow where temperatures continue to climb. At the same time that it's raining in Maine, it's going to be snowing in parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Very lightly, we think. Uh, but certainly a, a chance for a little bit of minor accumulation as we get into the mountains later tomorrow. 
Uh, our storm clears the East Coast around tomorrow at lunchtime. This is 11 a.m. This is noon tomorrow with wraparound moisture and northwesterly flow snow following it tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Here's what our snow totals look like in the uh, low, uh, Ohio Valley and uh, Missouri Valley. And we see amounts generally three to six inches with higher amounts across parts of central Indiana and northwestern parts of uh, Indiana. We also could see some accumulation coming off of Lake Michigan into north central Indiana and southwest Michigan tomorrow afternoon. Maybe a few inches will come from that. Uh, as we spread farther northeast into Ohio, we can see amounts of three to six inches around Indianapolis, maybe locally a little bit more. And also in Detroit, we could see six to seven inches of snow and southwest Ontario will also see uh, three to six inches of snow. And if you're in Ontario, that's about 20 centimeters. And then in the northeast, we see a local area of maybe some heavier snowfall in north central Pennsylvania. We could pick up about five, six, seven inches uh, in the far northern part of the state also in the Poconos, uh, but most of our snow is actually gonna be elevation dependent here in the Catskills and then farther north across Northern New York. Um, as we get into New England, we see those higher amounts as well. And then as we look up into New England, uh, we see amounts in Maine that will be very heavy overnight tonight, up to a foot of snow expected with heavier amounts across Quebec and much of New Brunswick with the exception of right along the coastline where we see that quick change over to rain. Uh, but these totals could approach 20 inches or more um, just up the uh, river here from Montreal. Um, and in centimeters, that gives you guys, oh, whoops, we lost it here. In centimeters, that gives you guys maybe as much as 58 to 60 centimeters of snow here in parts of Quebec. So a major storm uh, in areas that don't typically see quite this much snow this time of the year. We'll talk about severe weather. Here's our slight risk area. It extends from the Florida Panhandle through the southern and eastern half of Georgia, uh, the eastern half of South Carolina and the eastern third of North Carolina. And perhaps that could sneak up into southeastern Virginia as well. Um, there's actually gonna be um, a pretty good area of locally strong to, to severe winds continuing this afternoon and tonight. Uh, but tornado risks actually increase tonight across eastern North Carolina. So from down eastern North Carolina through the Outer Banks, uh, we do have a higher risk of tornadoes than areas farther west and southwest. Raleigh is kind of on the line here, same with Rocky Mount, Wilson, and Fayetteville. Uh, Columbia could see some tornadoes, but probably a higher chance farther east. And then we also continue to see the risk for a few tornadoes this morning into midday here across southwest Georgia and the Florida Panhandle as well. I'll show you all the HRRR significant tornado parameter. It does start to wane a bit here around uh, 9 and 10 a.m. as this line of storms moves east and loses some wind shear and instability with it, but then starts to pick back up this afternoon over eastern South Carolina. And especially as we get into this evening across um, down eastern parts of North Carolina, uh, around Moorhead City and, and uh, Beaufort, we see the threat for maybe a few tornadoes. And especially this evening, uh, east of New Bern, east of Moorhead City, we get into the outer banks here and the inner banks, and we see a local tornado threat as well. Um, but that doesn't look like it's going to make it all the way up to the Delmarva or the Tidewater of Virginia. You'll see temperatures this morning are chilly across the uh, Carolinas and Virginia, but they're warming up very quickly today. Mild air surges up through eastern Tennessee this morning with highs in the 50s and even lower 60s. But a cold wedge extends just east of the Appalachians with 30s around Boone and low 40s in Asheville and mid 40s in upstate South Carolina. And it doesn't really warm up too quickly here east of the mountains today. We do see that warming coming up to Pittsburgh where we could be in the upper 40s and low 50s until that front passes this evening. But uh, Florida, we're definitely gonna be a warm day today, mid 80s in parts of central and south Florida, and it stays warm there tonight. Uh, but yeah, we're starting the day off here in the low 30s here in Virginia and North Carolina and expanding into the 60s this evening. So a big temperature rise before our front moves through here after midnight tonight. Dew points uh, remain very moist near the Gulf. We're in the 60s and low 70s over the Florida Panhandle. You'll see very quickly it gets moist, so you can turn the heat off here later this morning in the Carolinas as dew points shift up into the 50s and eventually the 60s. So there's a lot of rich moisture in place here. We also have a lot of wind. We're seeing wind gusts over 70 miles per hour right along the Smokies and the state line between North Carolina and Tennessee. This is actually a southeast wind blowing wind down from the mountains into the cities here. Um, so definitely some strong winds. We also see locally strong winds right behind our storm across the Tennessee Valley this morning and ahead of our storm across Florida and Georgia 
and eventually the Carolinas where winds could gust to 30 to 45 miles per hour today. Strong winds as well will expand right up the spine of the Appalachians, 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts this afternoon into tonight over Pennsylvania and New York State as well. So I'm going to keep my video shorter today. I went a little bit too long yesterday and I ran out of energy. So that is that. But I really appreciate y'all's time. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. We're going to talk about the next wintry weather threats and severe weather for next week here in the southern, central, and eastern United States. And if you could invite some friends as well, I really would appreciate that. But I really appreciate y'all's time. Please be safe out there today in the southeast as well as in the Midwest and Northeast with our winter storm. And as always, I want to give all the glory to God through his son, Jesus Christ, my savior. Uh, I just want to share with you guys real quick my faith, because that is the reason I do what I do. I'm here to share the weather, but I am called as a Christian to share faith as well. Uh, Hebrews 11, 11, 11, 1, faith in action. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that it would, what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offerings. And by faith, Abel still speaks even though he is dead. Again, faith is what we hope for, but not what we see. Not by sight, but by faith. And that is what we are commanded to do, to believe in what we may not necessarily see. Uh, however, God is there for us um, to, to provide us, um, in the end, treasures in heaven through his son, Jesus Christ. And all we have to do is just believe and say, yes, I accept Jesus as our savior, as my savior, knowing that the eternal life is there for me. How you get there is going to be a very difficult pattern. We all go through a very difficult, challenging life. However, uh, those of us who continue to believe are confident that we are going to be assured of eternal life, John 3, 16. And my, my advice to you today, my, my hope for you today is that um, if you are not a believer, that you um, can just maybe keep yourself open to believing in what you may not see and to walk by faith and not by sight, by what you hear through the word of God. Um, and if you are a believer, we all need to be reminded that, again, God is faithful to us. I need to say that to myself multiple times because it's very easy to get discouraged when things don't happen the way that we want them to. However, we know that God is there for us and that he provides. He is the, uh, he is the almighty provider to us. We do, um, we do as we see fit, but we want to do what is pleasing to him, and that is to continue to believe, even if we slip up which we all do, including myself. So anyway, if you have any prayer requests, I'm happy to pray for you. Um, I really wish you all great health as we round out the month of January. And please stay warm out there. I'll have another video tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to it. Everyone have a great day. God bless you.